Hi guys. Hey guys, a warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. Just in case you're new to this channel, my name is Melissa. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much for showing love and support always to my content. For the new people in my channel, kindly subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section on this video, give a thumbs up to this video and don't forget to ring the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video guys you are able to be notified and come support my content. Today on this vlog I am more excited because I got to do this vlog with my son which is a big milestone for me, I am so happy about it. So. For the sake of my son, guys, kindly like this video. Please, 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 please like this video. So guys, in this week's vlog, we didn't like really do uh, much because a lot was happening. A lot has been happening in the country so far. My guys, if you're in Kenya, you know. So we didn't like really do so much activities, but uh, I was able to capture a few moments. So let's go about this vlog, guys. So guys, my son began taking tea this month. Like when I took him home, 
for some reason he just began taking tea that he was given by my mom he's never taken tea before like he didn't like tea he didn't even want to sip even to taste but after taking him home uh, the last visit home he began taking tea i'm so excited because breakfast is getting more 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 and more easier but one funny thing he calls tea juice so anytime anytime he asks for juice that's the juice we give him How are you? Are you good? Are you okay? I hope you're doing fine. So, uh, we're back in the movie. We're stand back and now. Um, life is moving on. Finance bill or no finance bill? I'm here. Anyway, have you guys rejected the finance bill or um, you are embracing it? So, I wanted to give you guys a very short story about uh, yesterday as I do the dishes. Hi guys! Hi guys! Say again. Say hi guys. Yo, thumbs up to mommy. So back to the story guys, I hope I'm um, audible enough now, I, I do sell utensils and uh, beddings and um, those household things. So whenever my business line rings, the first thing that comes to my mind is a new client. So yesterday someone called, it was a new number. I picked it and uh, he was like, hi Melissa, uh, someone has, uh, a, a, a previous client has recommended and uh, shared your number with me and I was like, oh, that's nice, how can I help you? The etiquette I had. Then he said, um, he's also a reseller. He sells utensils also, but he's in Mom. He said he's based in Mombasa, and then he was uh, faking the accent. You can just tell someone that is faking it, and someone that has the Swahili accent, the coastal accent. I hope the utensils are not too loud than my own voice. So. This guy tells me, uh, you know, someone gave me your number and I'm also selling utensils and um, I wanted us to collaborate on something. And that's where I, I morally am with Kashuka because this is not even a client. But I was like, okay, what is it? He told me uh, he imported things. Red flag, I know, I know, wait. He imported uh, utensils and they are stuck at the port for clearance. And definitely, I just wanted to hang up because, you know, he's a con man. But I was like, well, let me listen to the trick to the end. So this guy tells me uh, he wanted someone that also sells utensils that they can share the cost at the port because uh, something happened and his uh, finances are not so good. So if anyone can um, collaborate with him, if anyone can collaborate with him, he's going to share the, the utensils half-half with this person. First of all, I don't know this person, he doesn't know me. So I'm like, okay, so what do you want? He asks me to send him money for the clearance like the balance that he has for the clearance he didn't mention a figure because yes. i didn't even let him get to that but then i tell him i also import my utensils and uh, i have enough stock 
I hope this guy this guy watches. I'll share the, the link to this video in my um, WhatsApp business because for some reason I feel like they are going to social media looking for uh, business owners uh, contact when they get one depending on what, what you sell or what you do they come up with a story so I cannot be that dumb so I tell the guy ah, you know I'm not interested look for someone else who can do that trash with I'm not interested and he's like ah, you know and he's like Kwamol. I know Mombasa town Vizuri. So I'm like Mol Gani and he's like ah after say siko kwa mall. I'm like ah ah shop yako iko kwa mall gani ko located mall gani is like apana na sema mzigo iko kwa port and I'm like definitely ata uji mall yenye unafaa kutaja hata ange angetaja tu a stupid mall somewhere a name of a mall somewhere for some reason <laughs> but uh, from the first word that he said, I knew it was a con. So, guys, be careful. I'm talking about the story. Be very keen. These con men are all over. That's why I'm talking that one of the con men is someone you know that is trying to con you because one of you are sana and they know what you're going through. <laughs> yeah. For that reason, guys, order utensils from me. Guy, I don't know if I should insert some photos here. I think I'm going to insert some photos here for you guys to see the utensils I sell. So you should place your orders guys that's the short story let me finish up with the utensils then we continue with this vlog good morning guys how are you today it's thursday the protest today <laughs> i hope you're doing well i'm doing well today i'll be at home sorry i just woke up today i'll be at home doing thara 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 cleaning to my kitchen only my kitchen uh, reason being it's the place that I feel needs the most attention for now so I'll be cleaning everything from the small shelf I have up here and the cabinets down here behind the cooker behind the fridge like I'll be cleaning corner to corner today in my kitchen so I hope this motivates you to also yeah, clean your house. <laughs> I know, I know you clean your house every day, but do you do like edge to edge, corner to corner? Like, do you remove your cooker every day and clean behind the cooker, behind the fridge every single day? Most likely, no. Most definitely, no. So, mine has not been cleaned since I went home. Imagine, since I went home and been a couple of weeks so I know it's such a mess and I live just close to the highway the dust the dirt and everything if the way I found the space that is cleaned every day was a mess you can imagine behind these places that are not cleaned every day and it's a total total mess <laughs> yeah so let's go through the day guys let me prepare breakfast and then start cleaning with you.
so guys um my kitchen space is not that big neither is it too small for us we are managing so the reason why you're seeing things grouped in such a way is because of space i had not done utensils here so first i had to clean that part so that when i arrange my utensils here i cannot come back to that part i deal with the other part of the kitchen so i first cleaned uh, this area and uh, washed the dishes after washing the dishes i i washed my baby and ended up taking a shower then i continued with the cleaning that was the main reason why i had to do that like i had to stop cleaning the kitchen first because anytime i go to shower my baby i end up also sometimes i just end up showering also like i just wash the baby dress him up then go to the shower and then i came back to the kitchen because my utensils were now clean so it was just about dealing with the other part of the kitchen so i just came back to the kitchen to continue with my cleaning
So guys, as I told you earlier, like this space really, really needed thorough cleaning. So um, what I normally do with the shelves, I normally go each shelf at a time. Like um, I remove everything, I wipe the shelf and then I return. Then I move to the next one, just like that. Like I do not have like a very big space to put everything once. So I go one shelf after the other. It's not a very big um, place. So I can just manage it. And then I just clean one after the other. You just wipe the dust, the dirt, the drops, the everything that is there and ensure the place is clean and dry before you return the items back. So as I said, the purpose of me filming this part, these parts of cleaning or this uh, cleaning video is to motivate you guys. I know sometimes the soul is willing, but the body is like, nah, not today, not today, not today. We are going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow gets there and again, you know, we'll do tomorrow just like that. You keep postponing. It happens. It happens. You can keep postponing postponing something that you should have done so i hope you get motivated by this video because yo for me to also get like let me now do it i'm here to do it yeah it takes let's say it takes a lot of courage to clean everything once especially if you are this person that uh for instance i love cleaning the house but i don't like doing the dishes i don't i can cook for you but be sure you can do the dishes to yourself. I cannot do it. <laughs> I don't really enjoy doing um, the dishes, but the rest of the cleaning, I love doing it. And I love cooking. Dishes, only you. <laughs>